One of the most interesting areas in research in science right now is the study of the human brain. The study of the human brain. That's the most interesting stuff in the last 50 years, not right now. But entire biology is most interesting in the last 50 years. From embryology to, uh, to biology to evolutionary biology to genetics to gene therapy to biotechnology to everything that's connected to it. Now what makes the human brain different from say the brain of chimpanzees? I'm completely clueless. Why don't you tell us? This research answers some of these questions. Research! Woohoo! Yes! Yes! Research! Research! Show it! Show it! In most animals, there are chromosomal regions which are highly conserved between species. Where's the research? Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to talk about brand new research, which is early evidence that something other than evolution and natural selection is responsible for producing complex functional structures in the human body. Yes, but where's the research? You know, like attaching something to your video? Like link or name of the research, like you did in your previous video, something like this, not the right one, how about this one, uh, tell me which one is right, maybe this one. Let's take the hard one gene for instance. Oh no, no! Not her one gene! No! Wait a minute. Why am I screaming? It differs by only one base pair between chimp and rabbit. It differs by one base pair between rabbit and mouse. And it differs by one base pair between mouse and chimpanzee. Yet, it differs by whooping 18 base pairs between humans and chimps. The genetic similarity between humans and apes ranges from 95 to 98%. So, let's do a little bit of calculations. The human genome consists of over 3 billion base pairs. The genetic difference between human and ape is from 2 to 5%. In best case scenarios, meaning 2% of change in the genome means there is 60 million changes. Let's take a look at another figure. The difference in base pairs between chimpanzee and chicken at this gene is two base pairs represented by the purple boxes. <coughs> the difference between human and chimp is 18 represented by the red boxes. Yet the common ancestors of chickens and, uh, and chimps is thought to have lived 3 mil 300 million years ago while the common ancestor of chimps and humans is hypothesized to have lived only 6 million years ago. How could so many substitutions occur in 6 million years, yet only 2 between chickens and chimps in 300 million years? Now, when scientists looked at what HAR1 does, this is what they found. The HAR1 is expressed in the embryo during early stages of brain development of the neocortex. Now, from here on, the research gets even more interesting. The human chromosome undergoes mutation at a constant rate of 1 times 10 to negative 3 substitutions per site per million years. That statement is flat out false. First of the mutation rate isn't constant, it's estimated. There are many variables that can influence the rate of mutation, such as external access to mutagens or something like that. The second is, your numbers are completely wrong. I admit, I could not find this number anywhere. Not in nature, not in plus genetics, not in Scientific American, not even in answers in Genesis. But to be fair, I did ask Does it tap 101 about the source of this calculation? And in two weeks, I got nothing. Not a link, no response, nothing. And if that changes, I'll just post an errata to the video. But let's go back to the topic and let's see if we can improve these numbers. For instance, let's look at this paper. This paper describes the mutation rate of the roundworms. The mutation rate in roundworms is 2.0 times 10 and minus 6 per year, not per million years. It also states that mutation rates are 10 times faster than with E. coli, but it really doesn't matter. 
because the numbers are much, much, much higher than with your calculation. Let's l take a look at hypothesis A, evolution. Let's look at this pretty picture here. One possible explanation is that it was evolution and natural selection which caused these mutations. For example, let's say th these mutations were very beneficial, so they were strongly selected for by natural selection. For example, intelligence is very beneficial, so it was strongly selected for. Now, this hy hypothesis was actually disproved. No, not really. By a study entitled. No, no, not this study. No. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. This study showed that very weak selection at the site occurred, and natural selection could not account for the rapid accumulation of changes. Dude, don't make me go find this paper. Okay, you've talked me into it. Another hypothesis, hypothesis B, is that these mutations were due to complete random uh, recombinations in an area of the DNA, which is high in GC bases. Now, I'm not going to go through what GC bases exactly are, but I'm just going to mention that you know, DNA is made up of AT, G, and C bases, and some areas of the DNA are higher in AT bases, and other uh, areas are higher in GC bases. So anyway, uh, the most evidence currently is that is that these differences in the uh, uh, in the human and chimp uh, genome were due to um, these uh, changes from AT to GC bases, due to random, completely random recombination. And the source for that is given on the screen. Yes, yes, I got the paper as well. Now, where's the explanation? You are tearing me apart, Lisa. So these recombinations were completely random, occurred in a very short period of time, in less than a million years and these changes were not selected for by natural selection. This is going to take a long time, isn't it? Can I go to sleep now? Damn it, I'm really not that lucky, am I? Research has shown that these 18 base pair mutations are not fixed in the human genome. Oh good grief, they aren't fixed in any genome, not just human. That is, when humans are compared to one another, there isn't a single deviation from these 18 mutations. Again, how could this be explained? What? Are we done yet? I really don't know how to tell you that, but mutations are occurring. But this is the basic of molecular biology, which... What? I think that you finished that school, didn't you? Nah. I could be wrong. This is thought to occur because any deviation from the eight mutations causes this gene to lose function. Wow, you figured that one out. Maybe. Especially since mutation doesn't mean the activation or destruction of a gene. It could, but it's not necessary. A deviation from this gene at one base pair in the human gene population is called a single nucleotide polymorphism. Not a single nucleotide polymorphism could be identified in humans. Oh. 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 All 18 mutations must occur for this gene to function. I hope that you're not going the way I think you're going. And tell people that there are, I don't know, some random mutations without any natural selection and that there are high numbers between these mutations and stuff like that as evidenced by the lack of single nucleotide polymorphisms at this gene in humans. Oh, good grief. The mutation didn't occur in this particular place at time span of 50 years or something. And that means that we'll never, ever, ever, ever be any kind of mutation there, is it? Yet all base pair mutations occur randomly without the help of natural selection. Wait, 
Are you trying to debunk evolution without even understanding what evolution actually is? Evolution is a mixture of recombination, mutation and natural selection. Natural selection is, if the organism can't reproduce, it just means that the genome won't be passed on. What are the chances that 18 mutations occurred exactly in the right place in a short period of time to produce the hormone gene? Well, we can do simple calculations. You know what? Screw it. Here is the link to Potholer 54's video on natural selection and evolutionary mechanism. Check it out. You might learn something. Thus, a process other than natural selection, called bias gene conversion, or BCG for short, was responsible for um, creating these structures as complex as the human brain. The chance that this process produced a hormone gene is 1 over 782,617,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,